Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm building a Sevenson family home. I really wanted to challenge myself to actually make a home for a bunch of Sims. I sometimes don't do that because it's just easier to build a home for just two people where there's just one bedroom and everything else is huge like the living room and the dining room and the kitchen and I decided that today I really wanted to make a home where there's a lot of people living there and as you can see I crammed five children or teens in one bedroom which honestly I think would be a nightmare for like anyone to live in but in The Sims it doesn't really matter, they aren't getting like bad moods from being cramped or anything like that. At least I don't think so. And as you can see I decided to make the bedroom for the parents a little bit smaller just because I thought it was a little bit excessive in comparison to the kids room and I wanted it to be a little bit fairer. And as you can see I decided on the bunk beds for the children's room. Because honestly I wouldn't have been able to fit the myriad of beds that I needed with just normal beds. So of course I did need the bug beds for that, otherwise it wouldn't have been possible. And I really wanted to try out the bunk bed, I don't think I've used them um, until that point in my game play, at least not often enough. And as you can see, I also tried to make it a start home, so to not make it too expensive. And that's why I use like the cheap counter and also the cheap sink in the bathroom, it's just so it's not as expensive as some of the builds that I do. I am aware that sometimes, because I don't restrict myself at all, the build gets quite expensive, even though it doesn't really need to be. So I decided that I challenged, I wanted to challenge myself on two fronts. One, that it's actually a large family home, and two, it's actually a family home, which is like inexpensive and isn't like really, ex really like excessively, yeah, expensive just. I wanted it to be cheap and a start home, so that's what I decided to do. And as you can see, I also went for those pointy windows because they are also really inexpensive and they fit nicely with the doors that I used. Oh no, I didn't even use those doors. Normally, or often enough, I use the doors that come with those windows because they are also really cheap and of course they fit together well, so I like using the combination of that. And now I'm doing like a little trick where I rotate the floor tile so it's look, it looks more interesting and also a little bit more expensive than it could, just because I think it makes the whole build look less like a starter home than it could. And as you can see, I was basically finished with the shell, now I just wanted it to look like really good and not like a starter home. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, so I'm putting down some landscaping so it looks less bare and I also went back inside and put down some clutter so it, yeah, it just, it's a little bit less bare than it was before and it looks less like a starter home. And I actually think I succeeded with on that front so it doesn't look like a starter home necessarily even though it is really cheap and I actually think it's a fun build that I did and with the addition of some more stuff and also replacing that tree I managed to actually make it into a starter home now you can see some screenshots of the build. I hope you like it. You can download it from the gallery. My ID is TGG Sims, same as my YouTube channel name. I also hope that you liked the video and will consider pressing the thumbs up button and subscribing. Thanks very much for watching and have a great week. Bye!